Hello everyone. Isn't it better if new Blink 2.0 IoT app will work like older version of Blink Legacy? Yes, it can work. And this is the hot topic today because many of the people are still in trouble to connect with new Blink. This is Bhupendra Singh and you are watching our YouTube channel SME Dehradun. So in today's video, I will show you how you connect your board to new Blink IoT app and server like older Blink Legacy version. I will interface the DST11 sensor and LED to my Node MCU board. So this is the circuit diagram. You need to connect DST11 sensor and LED to your Node MCU board according to this circuit. This is Nutify Wi-Fi board designed by Nutty Engineer Company. You can also contact us for your product or board customization. This is DST11 sensor and this is 8 LED patch. I am connecting them with my Notify board. You can use NodeMCU or ESP32 board. Now we need to create the data stream in Blink Cloud. So open the Blink Cloud website, log into it. We go to the Blink dashboard like this. Go to the template tab and click on the new template. A new template has been opened. Write the name for the template. Select the hardware ESP8266 as I am using Notify Node MCU. If you are using ESP32, then choose ESP32 board here. Write the description for your project and click on done. Now directly go to the data stream tab and create virtual pin. In the virtual pin property, write the name of virtual pin as humidity. Select the pin as V0 and select the data type as double. Select the unit as percentage. Define the maximum value of humidity to 100 and click to create. It's successfully created. Again, follow the same process and create the V1 virtual pin for temperature. Also select the unit for the temperature as degree. Define the maximum value to 100 and click on create. Now create the virtual pin for LED. So click on the new data stream and then virtual pin. Here write as LED, virtual pin as V2, data type as integer and click on create. So we have created the required virtual pins. Now directly go to the web dashboard. Drag and drop the label for humidity and temperature. Also drag and drop the gauze for them. Now add switch to the dashboard. Hover the mouse in the first label and click on the setting icon. Select the data stream as humidity V0 and click on the save. Now open the setting of first gauze and select here the data stream as humidity V0 and click on save. Open the setting for second level and select the data stream as temperature V1 and click on save. Open the setting of second gauze, select the data stream as temperature V1 and click on save. Now open the setting of switch, select the data stream LED V2 and click on save. Finally click on save button to save all the setting to the template. This is how you can create required widgets to the new Blink IoT server. And you can see the preview of your project template like this. If you want to know more about the new Blink IoT server and mobile app, then you can watch our older video of new Blink 2.0. So now click on the search tab. You will get the option new device. Click on the new device and here we got three options to add new device. From template, scan QR code and manual entry click on the from template we got the options to choose the template so click on the choose template and we got the template that we have just designed click on it and then click on create once we click on the create our template is ready to work and we got the credentials with template id device name and token and if you missed it sometime then you can also see these credentials in device info tab. 
So guys, our setting of Blink server site has been done. Now it's time to work on programming code. Go to the video description and click on the link to download the programming code. This link will redirect you to my GitHub repository. Here click on the code button and then download it. Once code downloaded, go to the download location. You will get the programming code zip file. So extract it. Go inside this folder and you will get two folders. Automated blank to IoT Node MCU and automated blank to IoT ESP32. If you are using ESP32 board, then open the ESP32 program. As I am using Netify Node MCU, so I am going inside this folder and open this program with Arduino ID. This is the program. At the top of this code, you can see the blank credential. We need to replace it with our credentials. So go to the search tab and click on the device. Here click on the device info tab, copy these credentials and replace them. After it we need to include the required headers. Here we define the authentication character type array and call this blank authentication token. Below in the SSID and pass character type array, write the Wi-Fi name and password in which you want to connect your board. We need to add the blank library to the Arduino ID. So go to the sketch tab, click on the include library and then click on the manage libraries. Here search for blank and install the blank by Volodomor Samansky library. We have included the DST sensor library and define the DST double one sensor to D2 number pin. And guys, you also need to add the DHT sensor and adapt root unified sensor library in the Arduino ID to read the DHT sensor. So watch out my video on DHT sensor for this. Link is also available in the video description. Below, we define the blank timer function and LED to D5 number pin of the node MCU. Here we call the blank write v2 function so that while any activity happens with v2 virtual pin, this function will respond. Inside it, we take S0 as an integer type variable and store the v2 virtual pin input in it using param as int command. We digitally write this value to the LED pin. Here we define the my sensor function in which we read the DST sensor. We read the humidity and temperature and send that value to the v1 and v2 virtual pins as you can see in the command. We also serially print these values to the serial monitor. Now come to the setup function. We begin the serial monitor at 9600 baud rate. Below, we begin the blank server authentication by passing the authentication token, SSID and password argument. Now we define the LED as an output and we also begin the DST sensor. Here we call the my sensor function every second by using timer.setInterval command. 1000 L means 1 second. You can also change the timing for this as per your requirement. In the loop function, we call the blank.run and timer.run function. So this is the complete program. Connect your node MCU board to the computer. Go to the tools tab, then board and select the node MCU 1.0 ESP12E module. For this, you need to add node MCU board to the Arduino ID. If you don't know how to install this, then link is available in the video description. And guys, if you are using ESP32 board, then you need to select ESP32 Groover board. For ESP32 board installation, link is also available in the video description. Select the COM port for your board and click to upload button. As you can see, program has been uploaded to the board. Let's see the data in the blank website. So go to the blank website and in the search tab, you will find your device. You can see this is online. That means our board is connected to the new blank server. Now click on it and you will see the data of humidity and temperature sensor in label as well as in the gauze widget. That's fantastic. Let's configure the new Blink IoT app. So download Blink IoT app from the Play Store or App Store. Login to it. 
and you can see your project template here. Click on it to configure. Here click on the plus sign. Add button to the template. Again click on the plus sign and scroll below. Add two labels and two goals in the template. You can also replace by long pressing on widgets. Now click on the button. Select the data stream as LED V2 and back to the desktop. Now click on the label, select the data stream as humidity V0 and back to the dashboard. Now click on the gauze and select the data stream as humidity V0 and back to the dashboard. Similarly, we click on the second label, select the data stream as temperature V1 and back to the dashboard. Now click on the second gauze, select the data stream as temperature V1 and back to the dashboard. So guys, this is how we can configure the new Blink IoT app. Now back to the main dashboard. You can see the live data in your new blank IoT app. You can also control the LED from here. So guys, this is how you can connect your board to the new Blink IoT server like the old Blink 1.0 legacy version. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel and videos. Don't forget to comment in the comment box below for your query. Stay tuned for more innovation.